to share a few news articles. Um, there's a new bee that's extinct in the United States. So I'm just going to go over a few of the past articles. This one is from this month, January 2017, um, Death and Extinction of the Bees on Global Research California, talking about the colony collapse disorder. And since 2006, it's been continuously increasing the number of bees that have been dying. A few different factors have been said to be involved, but neonicotinoids, um, a type of pesticide that will affect the nervous system, thus the bees not being able to find their way back to the hives or back to the food source and killing them um, is thought, the, the pesticide is thought to have not only go onto the plant, but also seep into the nectar of the flowers. And then they blame a mite that's a possibility and um, just the weather. So I'll leave a link to this. Um, on this article from October, seven, seven honeybee species um, have been added to the US endangered species list. This is the, there, these are seven species of Hawaiian yellow-faced bees. They are a honeybee, but they're also, um, they live in different habitats on the Hawaiian islands. Um, so not necessarily on the mainland US, but that's seven species of pollinators there. And then here, um, this article states, move it over from two weeks ago bees are on the brink of extinction but pesticide bans could help that's if um, the government will stop using that certain pesticide so we'll see um, it says over the past two decades the bumblebees population fell by 87 percent and it comes just three months after the first ever bees in Hawaii, the seven that I just showed you um, were placed on the Endangered Species Act. Okay, right here in Time Magazine, it says you asked, are the honeybees still disappearing? This was from April 15, 2015, and it's a yes. And then right here from September this year, this past year, this bumblebee could become an endangered species. So it's has the red, sorry, the rabbits drinking. <laughs> um, this was back in September, 2016. And sure enough, right here in this, um, can't see the web page, I'm sorry. And NBCnews.com, this is January 12, 2017. Two months later, it is placed on the endangered species list. So bumblebee species declared endangered in the US for the first time. So the first time in the history of the continental US, not the Hawaiian Islands, a species of bumblebee that was once a common sight across much of the nation has been declared an endangered species. The rusty patched bumblebee was abundant in 28 states 20 years ago. Um, and then, like they said, it plummeted by 87% in the last two decades. And so there's a couple videos on these links. I'll try to put the links in the text box. And then right here, this was March 2015. What will happen if the bees disappear? We know the quote, but supposedly Einstein said that if the bees were to disappear, that we'd have about four years of food left. So this is saying the bees need you, and it's talking about since 2006, 2007, 30 percent of the colonies have died. Um, it says wild bee species, particularly bumblebees, are also in peril. And I just went over that. Um, it's a wake up call. It says right here 
Honeybees and wild bees are the most important pollinators of many of the fruits and vegetables we eat. Of a hundred crop species that provide 90% of our global food supply, um, 71 are bee pollinated. The value of pollination of crops, food, food crops by bees in the U.S. alone is estimated at 16 billion. And insect pollinators in general contribute to 29 billion to farm to U.S. farm income. Fewer bees leads to lower availability and potentially higher prices of fruits and vegetables. Fewer bees means no almonds, less coffee, less alfalfa hay available to feed dairy cows, thus less food for us and less food for the animals. Um, okay, and so that's just one of the many things I believe that are going to lead to the fourth seal, the third and the fourth seal. But in the third seal, in Revelation 6, 5, and when he had opened the third seal, I heard I heard the third beast say, come and see, and I beheld and lo, a black horse, and he sat on the him. He that sat on him had a pair of balances in his hand, and I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny, and three measures of barley for a penny, and see thou hurt not the oil and the wine. So things are going to be very costly. And then he opened the fourth seal, and so economic and turmoil and increase in the price of food and commodities. And when he opened the fourth seal, I heard the voice of the fourth beast say, come and see. And I looked and behold a pale horse and his name that sat on him was death and hell followed with him. And power was given unto them over the fourth part of the earth to kill with sword and with hunger and with death and with the beasts of the earth. So we see here war, hunger, famine, death, and the wild beasts of the earth. So it's just a wake-up call that um, just because we think that there's peace and safety, um, we do have a new president. Um, but like I told my friend, that doesn't stop God's uh, will or the enemy's plans, and it doesn't necessarily stop bad choices that everyone makes. So we need to be praying for these things and um, praying for the bees, praying for provision, praying for um, protection, and for God's perfect will. God bless.